making it to season three, Charlie, I feel like she's finally distanced herself, her name, her brand from Davis. Can you give us a, would that be true or can you give us a little bit of? Yeah, yeah. So I think in season two, um, a good chunk of the season was about her self-defining. Um, she hadn't really done that. You know, she had spent most of her adult life building his sort of empire and his image. Um, and so her success, although it was absolutely self-made, it was dependent on someone else and specifically on uh, this man who occupied this this position, this role in her life. Um, and so all of that sort of crumbling, I think it left her in a very new space. Um, for the first time, she's building um, not just her brand, but her identity um, in a way that is very self-directed. Um, so we see her stepping into her own with, with such um, courage and change. I don't think it's just so oh, Charlie's uh, just getting it and it's all good. I think she really encounters a lot of challenge in season two. And we continue to see that in season three as she is taking on the Landry's. So speaking of success, you know, that Charlie's had, um, when did you know that the show was a hit? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, the experience of making the show was, was so um, private in the first season because no one knew who we were. We were just out there in the, you know, New Orleans and in the rural country just doing something. So um, it was such an experiment. Uh, and to watch the show land and resonate with people all across, you know, stratas has been so um, inspiring and gratifying and humbling. Um, and just such a joy. It's such an honor to be a part of something that you already feel proud of, but then to watch it uh, be embraced is, is just incredible. Being a woman and a woman of color, how does it feel to have a, a creator like Ava who is so empowering women behind the scenes and making sure that, you know, everything's equal all around? Well, she, Ava DuVernay is a force of nature, and she is a constant education for me. She is um, fearless when it comes to uh, spaces that she, you know, that aren't necessarily built for her. And she simply says, well, why not? And goes charging in. And because of that, she ch brings with her an army of people who say, yeah, why not? This, this makes sense, actually. So um, it is so... Um, it's a, it's a life-changing thing to observe that up close and to uh, not only be uh, directed by that, but to be able to, um, to, to hear and watch and see in events and in, in all of our texts and all these other things, just how clear she is about her own intention. It's really, it's really quite extraordinary. And finally, do you prefer L.A. basketball Charlie wardrobe? <laughs> Or the more rural, casual, comfortable wardrobe. We call it farm chic on the show. Charlie's in her farm chic. Um, I love all of it because I think all of it tells the story of who she is. You know, when we first meet her, she's absolutely in that world of sports management, high profile media, publicist, strategist, you know, uh, woman. And she has dressed the part for a long time as the basketball wife as well. She's understood that it's given her uh, a, a, a foot in the door with all these, with the, ba the basketball wives. With these, she's been underestimated because of it, and that gives her a leg up. Uh, and then when she gets to the farm, I think we start to see a loosening. And a softening and a and a relaxing that I don't even think she's familiar with. Um, so I love that she goes back and forth because she's not just going to throw out all those great clothes. And in a lot of ways, they're they're serving her, and they certainly will serve her as she moves up into this uh, into this new space of the of the Landry business. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you.